YouTube viewers, Rectangular back, this time with another haul video. Here on the left we have Emperor Palpatine from the Star Wars 6 inch black series. And on the right we have Gamora from the Entertainment Earth exclusive box set. Now you may have previously seen that I got the entire box set from Entertainment Earth, but my Gamora had some paint issues on her uniform or costume on the front, uh, in particular her left side of her chest was uh, a little bit muddy. So uh, nothing that I couldn't probably fix, but I'm pretty particular about this character and uh, just wanted to make sure I got one that was as close to perfect as possible. So I saw a gentleman on fa um, sorry eBay that had quite a few available and I asked, before I purchased it, I asked him if he could go through the ones that he had and make sure that I got one with good paint applications. And uh, he said, yeah, sure, no problem. So I went ahead and picked her up off eBay, paid more than I wanted to pay for her, but um, you know, I figure she's probably going to end up being like Moonstone, where uh, you know she's the most sought-after figure from the from the set, and uh, it's pretty difficult to find Moonstone loose for um, sixty dollars shipped or less. So I, you know, didn't hesitate now because uh, you never know how much she's going to go up in price. So anyway, the rest of the figure looks pretty good. Uh, the legs of my previous one look a little bit better than, than this one, but um, overall I'm, I'm very happy. And with Palpatine, there was a gentleman on Facebook who um, had a handful of Star Wars Black Series for sale. He wanted uh, 15 shipped for this guy and I didn't hesitate because uh, the cheapest I've seen him, even with a damaged package, on uh, Amazon was um, 17 bucks, and uh, I didn't even want to pay that much. So um, I don't plan on doing too many setups with uh, Palpatine, but um, even eventually, if I use this figure for a custom, it's actually a really great body mold. It's got uh, double jointed uh, elbows and. Um, I'm trying to remember what else, but uh, it's got much better articulation than um, a lot of the other Black Series figures, which is quite ironic because he doesn't need to be really articulated. But um, then you've got guys like uh, Luke Skywalker who don't have double jointed uh, elbows, so really strange this decisions that they've made um, for these figures. But uh, I'm glad you know I didn't break the bank to get him. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next items. Next up from the Funko Legacy Collection, we have some Firefly figures, just three of the five that they've put out so far. And yeah, I'm expecting these to probably go on clearance at a lot of places pretty soon. I did pick these up for less than retail from an online seller. Um, with shipping they were less than retail but um, yeah the Funko is not known for making great figures if you have the Magic the Gathering figures you know what I'm talking about um, you know pretty much same same goes with these guys they have uh, clear a lot of clear plastic is used on them so they're they're very prone to breakage and um, you know the paint apps are pretty good articulation is is decent but um, just the the materials is uh, the biggest problem with these things with uh, breakage. I just I'm not a Firefly fly, <laughs> fan of Firefly the show or the um, the movies. I just pick these up for some uh, kit bash uh, fodder that I'm gonna do some head swaps and repaints on these for some generic um, sci-fi characters in the background. Of you know certain displays, so um, these are not going to look anything like this when I'm done with them. So 
yeah, they're you know they're okay for what I want to use them for. If you're a um, you know one, if you're an ACBA uh, person and you want to, you're big into Firefly. You know you might want to pick these up, but don't expect um, great quality and don't expect um, the best articulation. And be very careful when you handle them because they are very prone, prone to breakage. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next items. Next up from Mattel, we have some WWE figures. On the left, we've got Lana and Rusev in the battle pack. In the middle, we've got Dean Ambrose from Series 36. And on the right, we have Stephanie McMahon in her uh, corporate outfit. So I just got these figures as background characters. I normally don't collect uh, wrestling figures and I don't care for wrestling but um, yeah females in uh, in suits um, kind of hard to come by and I'll probably do a head swap on both of those and as well as uh, Dean Ambrose and um, I'll probably take that uh, jacket off of Ambrose and paint the back of it so it doesn't have that uh, logo of his on there <clears throat> excuse me um, I saw Slings do really cool head swap with uh, that Ambrose body and uh, Steve Rogers and another character I can't remember, but um, yeah, he'll make a good um, a good uh, thug or um, you know an un or civilian clothes cap. So um, that's the main reason I got him, and yeah, the the females just for for background. Um, background characters and uh, Rusev I'll just have to try to sell him even though I think uh, eBay is probably flooded with him by now if not then I uh, um, might be able to use his parts for other kit bashes uh, also I like the uh, the center blocks that that um, cinder blocks that those uh, that battle pack comes with not not too shabby just needs a little bit of paint all right let's go ahead and move on to the last set of items Finally this week from NECA, otherwise known as NECA, we have the Conquest Gorilla from the Planet of the Apes movie series. I'm a pretty big uh, Apes fan. I've got a couple of the NECA figures already and a uh, big thanks to my friend Fabio who let me know where I could find a good price on these online. These were uh, originally San Diego Comic-Con exclusives and they were also supposed to be exclusive to Toys R Us. Uh, fortunately a few other sites have been able to get their hands on them. I snagged them as soon as I could find them for a good deal. Fabio is also going to hook me up with a Caesar so I'm excited to get that figure to do a display with these guys. And I have this Caesar from the uh, Sideshow 12-inch figure line, and I'm going to be selling that now. Um, I just don't have the room for the figure, and uh, yeah, I'm not really into 12-inch figures anymore. So um, excited to get these, and I'm hoping I can do a uh, display, do a um, kit bash with a... Uh, at least one of these guys but um, we'll have to see on that because these are uh, 7 inch scale figures and I typically just collect 6 inch scale yeah NECA has been pretty awesome lately you know you get a lot of really cool things like you know accessories spare hands spare heads and uh, great paint and sculpt and a lot of people talking about how uh, they wish NECA would have more licenses that uh, Funko has because you know the if you saw my last review of Funko's got that really cheap uh, clear plastic and um, NECA has really stepped up their game so um, they don't have nearly the problems with breakage that uh, Funko does uh, at least not anymore so yeah I'm excited to get these guys and uh, you know hopefully I can uh, do some pretty cool displays with them all right, thanks so much for watching, you guys. You know, recently reached over 1,800 subscribers, so really excited about that. I did a 
giveaway for some head casts there and initially was just going to have uh, everybody have one chance to guess on what my top 10 favorite Marvel characters were to try to win those head casts but uh, nobody has won so far so if you've already guessed and you haven't won then go ahead and uh, guess again yeah I just want to get rid of them and um, best of luck to everybody who enters um, don't forget you have to be subscribed so go ahead and subscribe hit like share with your friends and I always love hearing back from you guys so please leave a comment below thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later